All right, guys, this video is going to deal with uh, some muscles and parts of the gait cycle at the hip. Uh, we'll also incorporate the knee as well. That should help you for this exam moving forward and moving forward. So let's look at this here, the hip. We've got three major components to gait at the hip that we need to be considering right now. So first, swing phase. That's when the leg is not on the ground during the swing here. So initial swing, how am I going to initiate the swing phase of gait? Well, my hip is in extension. We need to get my hip into flexion. What muscles uh, do hip flexion? Iliacus, psoas major, uh, rectus femoris. Best answer, ilia psoas combined is going to be your best answer. So it's going to have to literally lift up on that femur. Now, don't worry about my knee in this. We're just talking about the hip. So the ilia psoas is going to concentrically contract. Now we've initiated this movement, and inertia is bringing me forward. What's going to slow me down? Well, there's nothing my iliopsoas can do to slow me down because inertia is what's carrying me forward now. So now we need to control that with my glute max eccentrically contracting. So it's kind of easing on the brakes. It's not slamming. It's easing on the brakes. So iliopsoas initiates swing. And as my femur is slowing down, my glute max is eccentrically contracting to slow it down so that my knee and then heel can eventually go towards the ground. Now we've talked about in a previous video about the Trendelenburg sign. This is positive. So to get out of this, I need to use my hip abductor, so my glute medius. So this comes into play during mid stance. Mid stance, I'm single leg directly over my foot. So what keeps my pelvis from dropping? My glute med. So glute med, most important muscle for mid stance. So let's quickly review that. Iliopsoas, just gonna flex my hip starting initial swing. My femur is going to slow down because of the eccentric control of my glutes. And then during mid stance, my glute medius is going to keep me from having my pelvis drop to the other side. Now for the knee, two major components of the knee we should take into consideration right now. One is during terminal swing, so my glute max is eccentrically contracting, can control my femur. But what's happening at my knee? My knee wants to, my tibia wants to keep swinging forward into extension. So, cat's crazy. So, what's going to slow my knee down from going into extension? Eccentric contraction has to be because we're slowing something down, and it's my hamstrings. This is when the hamstrings are involved. If my hamstrings aren't working, my foot would just kick out into extension. So, initial swing, iliopsoas, terminal swing at the hip, glute max, terminal swing at the knee, eccentric hamstrings. Then when my heel hits the ground, my quads eccentrically contract just a little bit to help absorb some of that force. And then now I go through the rest of the gait pattern. So we should be able to go through some of that. And if you have any questions about that, email me, get on Zoom. We can talk about that some more um, before your exam on Wednesday. And then we're gonna be building on all of this to the end when we eventually get to analyzing full gait and gait deviations.